Hey William, do you have any advice on marriage? Yes, don't do it. Oh fuck you William. I already did that, both ways. Mrs. Afton. Any advice when having kids? Yes. Prepare for a lot of whining, complaining, shouting, yelling, annoyance, rebellion, hatred, headaches, crying, breaking, cleaning up constantly, teaching, excuses, migraines, stomach aches, tantrums, timeouts, injuries, stupidity, school things, staying up at late nights when they won't go to bed, chasing them around, bathing, tantrums again, dealing with nightmares, communication, fear surrounding them, buying things, them wanting everything they see. Also, the arguments during the day, not being able to win, constant state of stress and anxiety, no time alone together, making sure they're okay, answering dumb questions they have, and don't forget pregnancy. During and afterwards. Because that hurts like a bitch. Or just don't get fucking pregnant. One of the many mistakes I wish I did. Okay, thank you. I also forgot about trauma, discipline, the overcoming feeling of regret, anger, feeling disconnected, potty training, depression, addiction, violence, bullying they may receive, recovery, feeling lost, body changing, wasted money, feeling alone, having the possibility where your marriage is falling apart, bargaining, not having a way out, having to care for them for 18 years or more, and abandonment. And postpartum depression. We suffered through that. The feeling of being alone. Not even knowing if you're doing anything right, the constant reassurance you need as a parent. Having expectations too high even though you've just given birth. Always expected to know the answers to everything and know what you're supposed to do. Michael, any advice on friendships or relationships? In friendship terms, there is nothing really to say except to wait for real friends, and there is no big rush to get real friends. You can always wait, and you'll be able to see who your real friends are if an incident happens.